I know. I know what you're thinking. It has been 11 long years. 11 long years, man. Since we have seen the return of the Air Jordan 11 Retro Cool Gray. You're thinking to yourself, should I be like the guy who paid 800, 850 bucks for the shoe? Should I just wait? Maybe luck up on release day for retail? Should I just keep waiting and waiting and eventually pay a lower resale price? What should I do? So Rebel Gang, with that being said, man, this video is dedicated to exactly that. We are talking about doing a review, having a discussion, and game planning for the Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool Gray. Rebel Gang, what's good? It's your guy, Matt the Rebel, man. We're back with another video for you today. Before we get started with the video, family, as you already know, we are going to be talking about the Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool Gray. Before we get into that, though, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mac the Rebel guys for Twitter throwing underscore at the end of the name. Also follow me on TikTok. Links to my social media are in the description below. And gotta give a major, major shout out to my bro Steezy Taj man. He is the reason why we are able to get this shoe in hand early for a review. Really dope designer based out of basically everywhere, man. He's always traveling, so he's currently located in DC. Make sure you guys hit him up on IG at Steezy Taj. Make sure you shop his clothing line at buytajay.com. I will put a link to the description in this video for that. So again, bro, I appreciate you. Now, let's get into the review and let's take a look at, like I said, the Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool I know a lot of people are panicking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, do I really have a shot? Do I really have a chance at copying one of the most sought after sneakers of the year? And to some people, shoe of the year because of the nostalgia. MJ first donned these in 01. They came back out in 2010. And since then, we have not seen this shoe for 11 years. Family, I am here to tell you, before we start breaking down the materials of this shoe, do not panic come release day, okay? Like, hear me again. Do not panic when release day comes, okay? There are going to be tons of pairs. This is the Christmas Jordan, okay? The Air Jordan 11, all, there's always an 11 at Christmas time. There are always massive pairs. These are not like Jordan 1s that drop only 100,000 100, to maybe 150,000 pairs every now and then. You're going to get a couple, maybe a million plus pairs of Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool Grays, okay? I don't want you guys to panic at all. When release day comes around, you should be able to get your hands on these mighty easily if you put in the groundwork. And what I mean by groundwork, enter your raffles, enter your sweepstakes, foot site apps, enter everywhere you can. You should be able to luck up on a size and stop paying 850 bucks for these things early. I get it. If you want to pay 300 for these early, that's a more reasonable price since the shoe is only going to retail at 225 plus local tax, but family, don't trip off of these, okay? And here's a reason why. Y'all remember last year, the year was 2020, marking the 25th anniversary of the Air Jordan Retro 11. Y'all remember these, right? Jubilees, 25th anniversaries, whatever. These were really easy to get, family, and I made a video and I told everyone out there, do not trip, all right? Now, same thing to be said about the Cool Grays. Just relax, take a deep breath, and enter your raffles. Go on the Sneakers app. Maybe you can hit online. It, it, it shouldn't be that hard, family, okay? Now, Rebel Game, with that being said, and of course, family, once we get closer to the release day, we'll do a game plan session for how to cop the Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool Grays, certain sites to look for, certain websites that may be easier to cop on than others, and things like that. So, let's keep it going, all right? Now, when we're talking about the Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool Gray, yes, this one compared to the other one has a higher cut line with regards to the patent leather. To be honest, it's not a deal breaker, man. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go back and pay way more money for a 2010 pair? Are you gonna wait another 10 to 15 years for these to come back out? What are you gonna do? Me personally, I'm copping, and I'm copping two pairs so I can beat the hell out of one of them just like I did my gammas. And as you guys can see, <laughs> my gammas, although in still good condition, they are very worn. And you can see cracks right there on the side with the patent leather, man. So 
Anyways, family, we're not talking about gammas. Ret Jordan Retro 11 Cool Grays. Jordan Brand did these justice. Okay, hear me again. Jordan Brand really did these shoes a lot of justice. Some people are thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like them, blah, blah, blah. Listen, guys, the suede new buck material on these, oh man, it is buttery. As you guys saw in the B-roll, man, the buttery suede new buck texture on this. <sighs> Thank you, Jordan Brand, for not ruining the cool grays. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, me personally, I personally would have liked the gray patent leather to have been a little bit lighter to kind of blend in a little bit more with this gray upper, but I'm not even gonna lie to you, family. <laughs> the shoe is still dope and it is definitely coming home. You you guys have seen an 11 before, okay? Like I said, higher cut lines of patent leather. These are my gammas right here. You can see the line is just a, a tad bit lower, but. All in all, family, 23 logos right there. Jumpman logo right there. Also, make sure you pay attention because I know that these cool grades are going to be a lot of fake pairs flying around. Make sure that that Jumpman and that 23, make sure that Jumpman logo, the ball is right in the middle of the two and the three. Okay, that's one giveaway to spot a fake. Patent leather is nice and cool. White laces come with the shoe, doesn't come with any gray laces or anything like that. 11s most of the times don't come with extra laces. Don't even, you know, really go crazy over that. As far as the sole goes, we have icy blue soles. Okay, so not clear translucent soles. We get icy blue soles on the Jordan Retro 11 cool gray and in the middle of course as you guys already know jordan logo and branding right there in the middle of the tongue white laces all the way up and down and that's mainly it rebel gang i'm not about to sit here and try to hold you and talk your head off about a jordan retro 11 you guys are going to see plenty of reviews of this shoe honestly you guys are going to see too many reviews of this shoe because everybody wants to do blah 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 i'm just talking about it so people who are subbed up to the channel um you guys are able to see it okay as far as the box goes, no pull box this time. I know last year with the Jubilees, we had the flip box, no pull box. So we have Jordan, Air Jordan logo branding right here on the top. This is the tag right here, Air Jordan Retro 11. As you guys can see, that is a 14. Not for my foot, definitely for Taj. <laughs> All right, color does read medium gray, multicolored, multi. Basically, family is medium gray, cool gray, white, and icy blue. All right, that's, <laughs> that's what you're getting. All right, as far as the inside of the box goes, guys, man, it's just regular, man. I don't want people out here going crazy over the cool grays. They're gonna be easy to get, family. Stop worrying about paying $10 million resale. Yes, resellers are gonna be out here going crazy trying to buy up every pair. We get it. All you gotta do is be patient. Yes, we know early pairs, early real pairs are out there guys just relax just be patient man okay that's all I'm gonna say now this whole thing about the toe box okay let's 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 check some toe boxes so we got the Air Jordan retro 11 cool gray toe box right here okay you guys let me know do you guys really see a difference Oh yeah, that is a lot. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Yeah, so this toe box comes up a lot higher and straight down where this 2013 Gamma definitely is straight over and you can tell and yeah and you know like I said lower patent leather cut much higher patent leather cut so I get it man people if you if you tripping about a toe box being a couple centimeters higher a couple centimeters lower than another who cares man buy the sneakers wear the sneakers move on let's get to it all right so family with that being said that's it for this review no I'm not going to give you guys an on foot until release day because like I said these belong to my guy Taj I do not wear a 14, I wear a 12. So yeah, you guys get what I'm putting down. All right, so family, with that being said, it is your guy, Matt the Rebel, man. It is the Air Jordan Retro 11 Cool Gray. It is the Air Jordan Retro 11 Gamma. It is the Air Jordan Retro 11 Jubilee, guys. We're checking out of this video, family. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, to all of our new subscribers and new family members, guys, welcome. Thank you for checking out another video. I love you, I appreciate you. Family, I'll see you in the next one, and we out. Peace.